Ladies and gentlemen, this is internet personality Vangelis, and after a year of near silence, Ori Toy's Acid Rain line has finally materialized. This is The Stronghold, a 1 to 18 scale tank based off of the Acid Rain fiction and artwork created by Scronex. If you want to know more about the source material, check for links in the info box below. Being the debut piece in Ori Toy's first mecha-oriented line, I wanted to highlight the hardcore high-end packaging that features a friggin' hole in the back that lets you caress the machine within to feel its textured paint weathering for yourself with your fingertip. Kinda cool, kinda kooky. The other highlight is that after you get through all the cardboard, there's a crisply embossed styrofoam crate that contains the unit with a friendly booklet balanced on top. Yo guys, I think this is a tank. This is in the 303rd marine color scheme, and looks like an industrial box on treads, made from moving the onboard weaponry into position as pragmatically as possible. Speaking of color work, these are some of the finest paint applications I've seen on a production toy in a while. The weathering reminds me a lot of 3A on a good day, with the added bonus of a severe and tactile texture all over every armor plate. It seems like a durable coat of faux wear and tear, surviving some heavy finger stroking without tons of dust or powder flaking off. And let me tell you, I stroke this thing long and hard. Hours, man. While they don't roll, the Stronghold's treads are made of a dense and durable feeling rubber, also sprayed down with a bit of paint fleck. To defend itself, or just ruin somebody's day, the Stronghold has a fearsome foursome of double-door sealed missile launchers. Each of these ports can be resealed securely with a click, and each of their payloads can be slid out for various display options. Like having them lie next to the tank. Atop the cockpit window are another quartet of quadrilateral firepower. These machine guns are, in the fiction, responsible for the Stronghold's battlefield nickname of Quad Eyes. Each twin-linked assembly can rotate up or down, while the entire turret can also turn left or right. If you end up with an assortment of Acid Rain toys, there are deployable hitch pieces on the front and back of the vehicle. I haven't got anything else from the line as of this recording, but I'm at least looking forward to the accordion barrier vehicle that showed up in Ori Toy's promo photography. The 1 to 18 scale I mentioned earlier is what gives Acid Rain its ancillary draw. Opening up the front of the tank reveals a cockpit into which any G.I. Joe-sized soldier should be able to fit. I've had a lot of luck with Joes and Cobras, as well as some serendipitous fortune in cramming Nika's 4-inch scale Carmine from Gears of War into the driver's seat. Nobody fits perfectly, but nearly everyone I tried looked just fine in there. Ori Toy will be releasing some 1 to 18 scale soldiers designed specifically to work alongside the Acid Rain vehicles, so those will probably fit the most akin to a glove. One other 1 to 18 scale feature are the flip down ramps on either side of old quad eyes. These have foot pegs that totally play ball with G.I. Joes and add a small troop carrying quality to the tank. Finally, there's a fold down panel on the back that reveals the fictional engine block and the non fictional LR44 battery compartment with a switch. Pull two of those out of a Gaia memory, plug them in, and flip the switch to light up the pair of wall-mounted monitors in the cockpit. So far, I've had little luck getting the effect to light up the driver's face in the turret window, but it does add a cool aesthetic to the open cockpit view. And it probably helps whoever's behind the wheel get a better look at the lady poster that's tacked onto the inside of the entry hatch. When it's time to add some bipedal power to the Stronghold's repertoire, engage the armor switching routine and transform it into its mobile armor mode. The conversion scheme is totally in line with the vehicle's pragmatic aesthetic, being fairly simple in concept. Everything moves dead solidly though. In fact, some tabs may be a bit paint stuck out of the box, so bear that in mind if things aren't coming loose right away. I really like the small flippy accoutrements to the transformation, like the fold over pelvis piece and fold up shoulder pads. Standing around 10 inches tall, give or take, I don't have a ruler, Quad Eye's mobile armor mode is the real debut showcase of what Acid Rain's potential could be. It's a chunky beefcake of paint-weathered plastic, hefty in hand and tank-like in build quality. Cause it's a tank. This juggernaut is kinda like the love child of Votoms and World War Robot. The love child who ran off with the Machine Robo Circus to learn how to contort into a tank. It's an industrial bipedal war machine with only the smallest touches of super robot glamour. The only qualms I have with the mobile armor mode are that the hips are set a little far forward while the shoulders are set a tad far back. But the toy is built to balance solidly despite my initial worries, so this issue is one of personal aesthetic taste alone. I am in love with how unashamed the stronghold looks when it stands up. Keeping the cockpit core in one piece without looking like its person-sized torso cabinet is taking anything away from the design. 
You can even keep some soldiers hanging out on Quad Eyes now, our mounted missile launchers, though I expect they'd fall off pretty fast if things get hairy. The support handles could feasibly prevent that, I suppose. So this thing's big and chunky, you might be wondering how poseable it is. Well, let me tell you that even though it's a piloted mech, you can still twist its quote-unquote head. In fact, you can even pop this open to... Oh. Well, you can pop it open to see that uh, the pilot would have to actually turn his or her head to see uh, what's going on if you were to turn the head. The other thing you're going to notice is that friggin' Spider-Man needs to learn where he belongs, and that ain't here. So, uh, aside from that, uh, you might also notice that the panels on this thing... They click, man, and uh, the click has only just begun. In the shoulders, there is a forward rotation, which is a dull, low, bassy ratchet joint. There's a bit of an outwards rotation, mostly from the transformation. It's a click, but it does something, and it's ratchety. The elbow, delightful ratcheting, and then the bicep swivel, bit more of that dull, bassy ratcheting. So there's some hella ratcheting going on just in there. Also, this isn't really a point of articulation, but further showing how poppy all the panels are, these uh, missile doors, they click, man. Uh, the waist, I have to I have to get all the way down here. I have to relight. This thing's pretty, pretty tall. I don't know if I've got that across quite yet. The waist is also on a ratchet. Kind of a soft buttery ratchet, but a ratchet nonetheless. The legs can actually move in and outwards on a bit of a medium, uh, I guess, medium-low, uh, slightly bassy click, and the forward motion, a slightly louder ratchet. Uh, now, the way the knees might work, because uh, I'm not sure if they're really knees or if it's just two points of articulation, but on the legs, you've got this point here, again, ratcheted, and then down here on the quote-unquote ankle, you've got this point, and then there's actually a, f a movable flap here so that you can rotate this up like that. And uh, neither of these are really knee joints. This one's kind of an ankle joint. Really, they're just a pair of leg joints that, in unison with all this other stuff, allow this guy to assume some rather... I'd almost say needlessly dynamic poses, given the aesthetic of this guy, but I love him, because this dude looks like just a big, a big brick of machine, and the fact that he's got somewhat robust posability uh, throughout his body uh, is, is a little bit inspiring for uh, those who want to actually pose their giant acid raining post-apocalyptic mecha droid destructo -matix. So I'm kind of impressed with the posability on this guy. Uh, this kind of design I think would have gotten away with a lot less and I'm actually surprised how much there is uh, down here in the lower body. So you know what quad eyes? You're pretty... I was going to make some kind of remark about not being quadriplegic, but that's insensitive, so I'm just going to move on. Imagine the best of 3A's paintwork mixed in with the strongest build qualities of companies like Fans Project, and you have a great summary of my first experience with Ori Toy's Acid Rain line. Stronghold has all the charm of the large Martin from World War Robot, and likely will gateway me further into this line just as hard as his Ashley Wood cousin did a couple of years ago. Literally, the only present reason to turn away from this figure is if its aesthetics just don't match up with your preferences. I had a few paint-stuck components, but a bit of careful application of pressure solved those instances, and much quicker than any paint-stuck joint fix I've done on a Nika figure. Also, I currently do not know any price points, but I really hope a toy this well done does not get cut off from collectors by cost alone. This is a G.I. Joe scaled military vehicle that turns into a bipedal piloted mech whose posing options allow enough personality for anyone to believe it's just as likely to be a living machine if you want to play that way on your shelf. Its build quality makes it fun to mess around with, its transformation is quick and satisfying, and its size and scale are both impressive and hugely playable for many collectors. This is a great first outing for the Acid Rain line and I'm excited to see what comes next. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and I hope this video has helped introduce Ori Toys and Acid Rain to you if you didn't already know about them. As of this recording, I'm not sure when or where these will be sold, but I do know I'll be chomping at the bit to get something to hook onto Stronghold's trailer hitches whenever I can. I'm a trailer hitch fiend.